Center, RG Edo State, Nigeria. On business, the president of the Dangote Group, Alahaji Aliku Dangote, says it has concluded plans to scale up its investment in agricultural sector. It responds to the ongoing policy focus of the President Muhammadu Buhari-led administration. He also reiterated its commitment towards partnering various sides of government in the country in building sustainable and inclusive economy for the benefit of all Nigerians. He said this in Kanu during a ceremony organized to mark Dangote Industries' special day at the ongoing 40th Kanu International Trade Fair. Dangote, who was represented by Group Executive Director, Strategy and Government Relations, Masu Ahmed, said that he particularly intended expanding his sugar investment. He added that as a part of the company's support to the development of agricultural sector, the 3 million ton per year fertilizer plant being constructed currently by the group would be inaugurated early next year. Ahmed said that the group also would kickstart the development of six large-scale rice milling plant to be situated in six northern states, namely Kano, Jigawa, Zamfara, Niger, Kebi, and Sokoto, with a combined total milling capacity of 1.5 million per annum. He said the group's growing investment in the agricultural sector would equally complement the existing and continuing investment being made in other sectors such as cement, salt, and other consumer products. Dangote added that the petroleum refinery being built by the group when completed would put an end to importation of petroleum products by Nigeria. More from the business news, Nigeria's auto industry among EU's investment targets says a delicate. The European Union says Nigeria's automotive industry is among its target private sector industries for long-term investment and development. An EU delegation led by Ambassador Ketsi Kassen made this known during a recent visit to Pan Nigeria Limited. Kassen noted Nigeria's strong partnership with the EU and commitment of companies like Pan in sustaining business ties with France and maintaining qualitative standards of operations. According to a statement by Pan, Kassen said there is political leadership in Europe that is interested in long-term growth and development of private sectors, industries in Africa and the automotive sector is among the target beneficiaries through the European Bank of Investment. He stated that the team was on a strategic policy development visit to Nigeria to usher in a new era of European investment in private sector development in Africa. The managing director of PAN, Ibrahim Mohamed, was 
quoted as saying the automotive sector in Nigeria was still one of the key sectors that contributes to the growth of the economy. He described the automotive industry as high value adding with opportunities and challenges, adding that the sector could do better with government support by provision of intervention funds. Spot News is next. Please stay with us. Nigeria. Bye. Welcome back. On sport, Mourinho bans 30 young players from watching Bayern trashing. Jose Mourinho says that he has banned his 30 young players from watching the video nasty of the 7-2 Champions League home loss to Bayern Munich in October, which represented one of the final cuts for his managerial predecessor, Mauricio Pochettino. Mourinho is in Munich for Wednesday night's return Group B fixture, although there is not the same degree of jeopardy given that both clubs have already qualified for the knockout rounds. Bayern have suffered back-to-back -back Bundesliga defeats and are in turmoil as they lag seventh in their domestic division. But to Mourinho, the recent pass was not a principal concern. Away from that, your Joshua responds to Wilder's criticism. Anthony Joshua has hit back at Deote Wilder following his rival's casting criticism of his performance against Andy Ruiz. The British heavyweight regained his IBF, WBO and WBA titles in a measured and disciplined performance over 12 rounds. Wilder, who is unbeaten and the reigning WBC champion, slammed Joshua's tactics for the race clash and insisted he ran away from his opponent. Joshua was handed a wide point victory by all three judges, 118 to 110, 118, 110 and 119, 109 and the two-time champion dismissed Wilder's assessment of his display against Ruiz. That's Wilder's opinion, Joshua said. Uh, outboxed the heavyweight champion of the world for 12 rounds. I don't think I lost a round, he said. Finally, from the world of sport and also on news desk, Liverpool survived Salzburg test to reach last 16. Liverpool struck twice in two minutes through Naby Keita and Mohamed Salah to avoid an embarrassing early Champions League exit by winning 2-0 in Salzburg on Tuesday. The European champions needed to avoid defeat against the Austrian champions to book their place in the last 16 and victory ensured they did so as winners of Group E ahead of Napoli. Salah had been guilty of missing a host of big chances as Liverpool walked a tight rope for nearly an hour but made a mess with a sumptuous finish from a narrow angle after Keta's header had settled the holder's nerves.
Salzburg has scored 87 goals in 24 previous games this season, including three when Liverpool etched a seven goal trillion between the two back in October. But Norwegian won the kid Erling brought. Haaland was thwarted as the Reds recorded their first clean sheet in the Champions League this season. Now, that's the size of the news today on Celebration Television News Desk. But in case you're just joining us or you missed out on any of them, here are top stories again for the day. Buhari and three governors depart for Egypt for Peace Forum. From the international scene, Christian Dr. Wins won't lose job after praying with patient. On business, Dangote promises to scale up a Greek investment. On sports, Joshua responds to Wilder's criticism. Please be a friend on our social media platforms. On Facebook, we're Celebration TV. Instagram, My Celebration TV. On Twitter, my, at My Celebration TV. On YouTube, Celebration TV. I am Obozegi Ruth, and many thanks for being with us today on Celebration Television News Desk. Goodbye and have a lovely Tuesday.